Are you PCS in Fort Knox? Well, in this video, we've got six important things you need to know coming up now. Hello everybody, I'm Val Hardesty with the Hardesty team with Schuler Bauer Real Estate Services in Elizabethtown, Kentucky. Jarrett and I work together. We're a team of realtors here in the E-Town, Louisville, Fort Knox area. And we are going to show you six important things that you're gonna to need to know when PCSing to Fort Knox. Let's get started. Number one, choosing a good agent is absolutely a must. That agent needs to understand what it is that you're looking for, must be willing to communicate with you, and just needs to understand what your family needs are for the price point that you're trying to be in. Your agent also needs to understand the area and have a real good sense of the area as far as what's going on, uh, have an idea what schools look like and all that good stuff. And also, a, an agent will help prepare you, whether that's hooking you up with a local lender who will help you get your pre-approval, someone who communicates well. Some of the national lenders are hard to deal with because you're calling to a call, call center and they just gets a little gets a little messy especially if you're trying to do something long distance wise. So like I say, if you need someone local, we can recommend some people to you. It's not a problem. Number two, you need an agent that's willing to work with you if you're long distance. If you're PCS, stand from outside of the country, you need an agent that's willing to, you know, kind of do the long distance dating, the long distance relationship as far as if you're in a very different time zone. We've had people come in from other, other countries, you know, sometimes it's, you know, six hours, it's really not a big deal. And we've had them when they're on a completely different day. So, you know, it gets a little interesting, but you need to have someone that will work with you on that time distance or time uh, difference as well. That's kind of a kind of a big thing. Also, they need to use technology. Some of some of the virtual tours and stuff we do are great, but also we have things like 360 cameras. And, you know, sometimes it's a simple thing as a FaceTime call or something like that to help you get through a house to make that decision, especially when our market's moving as fast as it is. If it's a house that's going to go quick we've got to be able to have that technology piece that you can actually see the house as we walk through it and walk through it for you, but with you. Also, we need to have, um, you know, you need to have an agent that's willing to take the extra mile, show you the neighborhood, show you what's around, show you what the street looks like, and maybe show, even show you kind of what your drive into, the, into that neighborhood looks like. That way you get a real sense of what it is that you're buying. You know, we're big on no surprises. You know, what's around, what to, what to expect when you pull up your house the first time, especially if you're, um, PCS and in from out of the country and you can't actually come see the property. Number three, schedule a reasonable house hunting trip. Five to seven houses is really good for any one particular day. Uh, make sure you bring a notepad, take a picture or two just so that you can know what you looked at. If you're not careful when you're looking at houses, you know, if houses are kind of similar, they kind of run together on you and you need to take a few notes just so that you can realize the difference of the houses, maybe the bathroom or the kitchen or the countertops, just something that when you see it, that note, it jogs your memory like, oh, okay, this house is that. So it's real important not to look at too many houses because they get you know ran together for you all the time. Coming in at number four, we need to be ready emotionally, mentally, and financially to make quick decisions in a fast moving market, which is what we're in. So you wanna just prepare yourselves for when you are on a house hunting trip and you end up finding that house that you really like and is gonna be great and functional for your family, um, prepare yourself mentally, emotionally, and of course financially um, to be prepared to possibly write an offer that day because that's how fast the houses are going around here if they're nice, cleaned up, move-in ready, and priced correctly. Okay, number five. You want to be prepared ahead of time for when you need possession of your new property. So normally um, the date of possession on a contract when you write your offer is the date of closing. So at the closing table, you'll get keys and you will get possession of the house that same day. Now, if you get lucky, sometimes you can negotiate with a seller who maybe is PCSing out of Fort Knox, um, but that's not always the case. Most sellers want to exchange possession the date of closing. So be prepared ahead of time in case you are to arrive before you close, where will you stay? And then also if you close before you arrive, you know, do you have someone to help you look out for the property or will your agent be willing to maybe, you know, set your temperature controls for you, depending on what season we're in, maybe do something like have a uh, guy come out and cut the grass for you or those kind of things. So just keep all those things in mind and make sure your agent's willing to help you through all of that. Number six, how will you close? 
know how you will close ahead of time. Do you think you're gonna be here in Kentucky to close in person? Will you need to make an extra trip, whether that be by driving or making a flight, you know, flying arrangements, those kind of things. Or if you need to prepare someone like a friend or family member to maybe do a power of attorney for you. And if you don't have that person, you can use your agent if they're willing to do that for you. And then of course, being able to communicate those things to that person. So bonus number seven is thank you so much for your service. And of course, number eight, we want to warmly welcome you to our community. We look forward to the possibility of getting to know you and meet you. And we want to welcome you to the Elizabethtown Fort Knox area. Okay, wait, they need to know one more thing. You need to know one more thing. How do they say Louisville? You're going to need to know how to say Louisville correctly. Mm, we'll tell real fast. If you're not from here, by the way, you say Louisville. <laughs> Okay, so is it Louisville? The Ooh. second one, if you're real country. Louisville. Louisville? Mm -mm. Louisville? Mm -mm. Louisville? Mm -mm. Or Louisville? <laughs> that's how it's spelled, but that's not how you say it. Mm -hmm. Nope, nope, nope. Louisville, it is. If you say it wrong, we'll know you're not from here. So make sure you get it right so you can fit in. Just say it like you have a mouthful of rocks. Mm -hmm. Louisville. Louisville. Check out the Reload Guide in the link below, and if we're helpful in any way, please smash that like button and subscribe to our channel, and we hope to hear from you soon. Take care. Take care, guys.